no stopping us. We going harder, we getting stronger, better than ever, better than ever. I feel the power. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite top 10 trucks in SnowRunner. This is a opinion list. It is just my opinion. These are my favorite trucks. You guys might have different trucks that you like better than what I have on my list. And there might be some trucks that I haven't tried yet. So keep that in mind while watching this. To start this list off, though, I am going to put this truck right here as our number 10 truck. This is the Pacific P16. This is a very fun truck in my opinion to drive. I just really, really like this truck. I guess I just like the big style trucks. And this truck means that it doesn't have like any attachments that you can put on it I always keep a high saddle on it that's about the only thing you can put on it and this truck will pull big trailers wherever you want to pull them to so that's the really good thing about this truck it does only have diff locks it doesn't have any kind of all-wheel drive so it's not a very good off-road truck but it's just an overall fun truck and it's very interesting with the engine sitting off from the cab like that. But going into the garage here and looking at this truck, it doesn't have a whole lot of options. It has an advanced gearbox. It has a couple engine mods, 57 inch tires. That's all you can put on it. And like I said, it only comes with a high saddle. I just feel it's an overall good truck if you need to pull a really large trailer. So give it a shot on some of those missions that say requires saddle high this is my go-to truck for those kinds of missions I feel it's a fun truck it is one of the slower trucks it's just super fun to drive so give it a shot coming in at number nine this is going to be the con 39 marshall con 39 marshall is one of my favorite scout vehicles now it probably replaced by Hummer H2 on my favorites list for scout vehicles just due to the fact that the Hummer has seemed to have got worse over the last couple updates. I don't even have my con all the way upgraded and it already has an A plus power to rate ratio. With the freeway gearbox this thing is pretty fast on road. It only comes with mud tires which is pretty standard for most Russian vehicles. The Con Marshal will pretty much go through anything you want. It might be a little bit slow going through there, but we are running a freeway gearbox on this vehicle, and it still will just tear through mud like no one's business. And for that reason, the Con Marshal got put on my top 10 for vehicles. Coming in here at number 8 is the Caterpillar 745C. This monster of a truck is a really good truck for rescue. This truck features all wheel drive and it has diff box if needed. This truck is probably my go to truck if I need to rescue another truck like this one up here. Snow, mud, Anything you want this truck to go through, it will drive through with ease. It has no issues with driving through snow. Many trucks do. And being so that you find this in Alaska, I would hope it could drive through some snow. But this is my go-to rescue truck as it can pretty much go anywhere to pull out trucks. Just like this, you can just flip over a truck and then detach your winch and continue to drive. Caterpillar does not flip over very much and it is really good to be.
Now, like I said, the caterpillar doesn't care about snow nor mud. And this monster of a truck will pretty much do any recovery mission you want. It does feature very limited things that you can do with it. Which is kind of a bummer. And that's why I'm only placing it at number 8 on my list. But being so that it has both the all-wheel drive and the differential locks, this Caterpillar can drive through everything with pretty good ease. Doesn't get stuck at all. There are some downsides to the Caterpillar is that this speed is very, very slow. It is not a fast vehicle. And it is kind of tough to steer. Speaking about Caterpillars, coming in at number 7 is the Caterpillar CT680. This is a very underrated truck in my opinion. I don't really see many people talk about using it. But I really enjoy this truck, especially for Alaska. You do have a few different upgraded engines. And it does have the standard gearboxes like every other truck. Now it does only have a stock suspension, which is kind of a bummer. So you can only put up to 47 inch tires on it. Now, what I like this truck about is I run the chains on this truck, and it's a blast in Alaska. You do have engageable all-wheel drive, and you can pretty much put whatever attachment you want on Now, the reason I like this truck is because the speed on this truck. This is one of the faster trucks, in my opinion. I really like it, and with chains... This truck is fast, not only on uh, regular roads, it is fast on ice. Now, this truck is only going to take number 7 on my list, because it's definitely not an off-road truck. This truck is pretty slow off-road, and it tends to get stuck in everything. You can look at mud in this truck. And get it stuck but as long as you're staying on roads this truck is a go-to truck for pulling trailers mainly because of its speed that's why here in Northport this was probably my favorite truck to use in Northport just because there's so many roads in Northport that are really good most of them are this icy paved road and this truck is just super fast at them. But that's why this truck is taking the number 7 spot. Coming in here at number 6 is going to be the Tuds Ford Morning. This scout vehicle is a monster of a scout. I did put it at number 6 for a few different reasons. One, this scout will take you anywhere you want to go plus I mean it's a tank how can it not be on your top 10 list this vehicle will be on everybody's top 10 list it's not the fastest vehicle but it will take you wherever you would like to go having all-wheel drive and diff lock engaged all the time this is definitely not the most fuel efficient scout vehicle there is in the game but with a massive 300 liter tank, you can still get across pretty much any map and still have fuel to go. Vehicle features eight tires, four on each side, and it has multiple tires. It steers kind of like the twin steer does. Both front tires turn, making it very, very efficient for getting wherever you want to go. That being said, even with only having the four gears, it still is not horrible at getting through mud very quickly. Like I said, it's not the fastest vehicle. It's not like the Con that will get you across the map really super fast, unless there is a lot of mud on that map. While the Con will get you through mud, it has nothing on this Tuz 420. 
post 420, as you can tell, has no problem getting through mud. Coming in at the number 5 spot is the Vernon AE4380. This truck is a pretty good truck, even with a base level engine. You do have three engine upgrades once you unlock them, and you have the off road gearbox with a high range gearbox. Me is an off road vehicle, I run an off road gearbox. You do have a race suspension once you get it, but it comes stock with 43 inch tires that are mud tires, just like pretty much every other Russian truck in the game. That probably has something to do with the lack of snow in SnowRunner. You can upgrade these two 50 inch tires, and I think it would make this truck even more unstoppable. As far as frame add ons, you can pretty much put whatever frame add on you would like to on it, and you will be very happy with this truck. This truck is a pretty much go anywhere type of off road vehicle. I did only put it at number 5 on my list because I do have other trucks that I prefer to use over this truck. Maybe because I've used them for so long. And, or maybe I just prefer that truck. I'm not exactly sure. But this truck overall is a really good truck. And with it being so short, it is decently stable. It's one of the harder trucks to flip over. You can pretty much take it wherever you need to go. This is also one of the faster trucks on and off road. It is a really good truck to use for pretty much anything you need to use it for. And only being $80,000 in the store, it's a fairly good truck to buy and use. I mean, I said you do need to buy it out of the store for the eighty thousand, but compared to a lot of the other trucks that are a hundred thousand dollars or more, this truck's well worth it. Taking the number four spot is the Yar eighty seven. This scout vehicle features six wheels. Once again, they come stock with mud tires. It does have three engine upgrades, and like all my scout vehicles, I run a three-way gearbox. They come stock with 49-inch tires. That's the only tires you can get. They don't have a raised suspension on this truck. You can put a roof rack on it, but that is the only add-on to it. There is no other add-ons to this truck. Scout vehicle, but this is pretty much a go anywhere scout vehicle. The scout vehicle will take you wherever you need to go. It's not the fastest scout vehicle having that diff lock enabled all the time, but it does have switchable all wheel drive. Unlike the Tuz, this Scout vehicle does not get a really bad gas mileage. It does get fairly good fuel economy. Being so that as a Scout, it should, and it still features a 110 liter fuel tank, which is really good for a Scout vehicle because most of them are 80 or less. The Scout vehicle will pretty much go wherever you want it to go, and it's one of the Scout vehicles that are really hard to get stuck. Once you get this vehicle unlocked, it is a vehicle you would like to have. That's why it will be taking the number four spot on my list. It's probably one of the most used scout vehicles for me, because it does feature pretty good speed, which is what the Con has. It does feature where it can go anywhere, like the Tuz 420. But it doesn't flip over like the con. That is the downside of the con, is that it flips over. As where the Yar 87 does not flip over near as much. So this is my go-to scout vehicle now if I have to go on a scout adventure. Coming in at number three is a truck that you will probably not see on anybody else's top ten list. 
is the Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. I put this on my top 10 list for the sole reason that I play on PC and can get it modded with all-wheel drive. Now, if you play on console, this will definitely not be on your top 10 list, as without all-wheel drive, this is not a very efficient truck to use. I like this truck because it's one of the few trucks that, as you can see, can hold four cargo spots. It does have its downfalls, as you can see, that it cannot turn sharp corners very well due to its size and likes to tip over when you get in tight corners. Other than that, with four-wheel drive, this truck is a very, very good truck to have, featuring a massive v16 engine this truck is my go-to truck if i have to haul quite a few things through not super harsh terrains both of this truck does have all-wheel drive as a modification and def lock it still will not get you through every single mud puddle that you want it to go through it's not an off-road truck but it is one of my favorite trucks and if I didn't have the modifications I would probably be in the same boat as all you guys and not use it. This truck does have a few modifications, it has a couple of V16 engines, it has the same gearboxes as every other truck, race suspension allows you to put 63 inch tires on it. I feel it's a good truck which is why I listed it as number three on my list. For my number two truck, I have to put the Royal BM17 on it. This used to be my favorite truck until it wasn't no more. I've probably used this truck more than any other truck in the game so far because I just got a new number one recently. I still do like my BM17 a lot, I use it all the time, but it's definitely not my number one truck anymore. This is now my number two truck. The Roar BM17 is a very good truck, but it does like to bottom out a lot. It has a very low front end, so pretty much any big pothole you come across, you're going to bottom out and damage your engine which will eventually add up and kill the truck. Now the Royal BM17 doesn't have any kind of diff blocks but I've yet to find a, a need for diff blocks on this truck. This truck doesn't like to get stuck when it has all wheel drive enabled. It gets pretty decent fuel economy. Not the greatest Definitely not the worst truck, but the biggest issue with this truck that I have found is that it is very tipsy. It does like to tip over a lot. You get too high of loads or larger loads and get up in hills, it will tip you over quite a bit. But overall, for as far as speed of getting through mud, this truck is a really solid truck to use. I've probably used it more than any other truck since I just replaced it with my new number one truck. The other downside on this truck is that it doesn't have any actual mud tires. It does only feature off-road tires, which once again has not kept this truck from not getting through pretty much anything you wanted to put it through. You can drive this truck anywhere and it very, very rarely gets stuck if ever. Once you get winch good winches on it, this truck is very, very solid. If you haven't given the BM17 a try, definitely consider giving it a try because as you're seeing, even with a highway gearbox on it, it doesn't get stuck very easily. It's just coasting through this stuff pretty easy. And that's why it's my number two truck. And 
for our number one pick, we're going to go with the Tanga 6436. This is my go-to off-road truck right now. I don't know exactly why. I just absolutely love this truck. This is a really good overall truck for pretty much anything I need it to be for. It features pretty good speed. It has really good height on tires, unlike the BM that likes to bottom out on pretty much everything. And it will still get through everything that you want it to go through. This truck will have all wheel drive and diff lock on all the time. And overall, like I said, it's just a really, really good truck, even with the base engine. Unlike the BM, like I said, it doesn't like to roll over near as easy. It's not near as tipsy as the BM. And we are actually going to be putting this truck up against the BM in a head-to-head -head challenge soon. So keep your eyes out for that video. Uh, tell us in the comment section what your favorite truck is. Let us know. I'm really curious of what your go-to truck is. I said the Tango 6436 is mine. It has... 51 inch tires once you put the race extension on and it's just my favorite truck right now that's why it's taken number one on my list until next time guys stay crispy